Hey Aurora guys, thank you for watching Knives on Flames. I've taken a little break from cooking videos, but guess what? I'll be traveling around South Island this winter and would love to take you guys on the journey with me. I'll be sharing the beautiful sights, views and small places New Zealand has to offer, some fun times with my wife and most importantly, reviews of the food and the cafes and the restaurants I'm gonna go visit. We are flying with Air New Zealand from Auckland to Christchurch bright and early in the morning it's a bit raining over here but let's hope the weather in crashes is a bit better because we have got some amazing activities planned for today so guys see you there we have just landed in Christchurch and after picking up the rental van from the airport we are heading to meet some very important beings What's the first thing I want to do when I land in Christchurch? I want to meet our extended family, our ancestors, especially my brother-in-law's best friends. <laughs> so here we are at the Urana Wildlife Park. It's a very famous wildlife park in New Zealand. Thankfully, it's sunny down here, so it's going to be a wonderful day. I've got the map of the park and first thing we are going to do is feeding the giraffes. So it's just the time to feed the giraffes. So that's the first thing on our list to do. We waited in the queue for about five minutes. And just seeing the giraffes up so close and feeding them, it was cool. I was expecting to see Malman, but I guess he was still in Madagascar. Would have been a long holiday if I went to Madagascar just to see Malman. Looking at the giraffes, enjoying their meal, we got pretty hungry as well. The only cafe at the park was the Presley's. We ordered some coffees and potato wedges to share. I also tried the sausage roll. The food was definitely overpriced. So I would suggest packing your own lunch if you are going with your family and friends and enjoy eating at the picnic tables around the park or while walking and watching the animals. We are heading to the Kiwi house now. Kiwis are native to New Zealand and they are kept in their natural habitat. Sorry I can't show you guys cause it's too dark inside and we are not allowed to use the light or the flash. Next. It's time to see the tiger feeding. Again, I've not seen a tiger from this close before. I've been to a zoo back home in Delhi. I've seen the tiger over there, but they are so lazy. So they just don't actually care who comes around and look at them and stuff. So this zoo has two tigers and one of them was just around a meter away from me. The tiger feeding is a bit different to the giraffes, obviously. We can see the tiger's sense when the red meat is brought to them by one of the staff. They acted so fast, they ran towards a beautiful piece of New Zealand beef rump. It was, it just looked nice. I could smell the, I could smell the fresh red meat just by standing far away from it. I guess they must be hungry and then the staff was telling us that it's just a bit of snack for them. So pretty much just like their cup of tea like we have. The staff said their proper meal will be given to them tonight. The tigers and the lions, two big cats, are actually neighbors. And it's the lion feeding time right after the tigers. So the park actually has four lionesses and they look big. Right up close, they are huge. They are magnificent, beautiful creatures. My wife and I were totally amazed. No wonder they are the queen of the jungle. We are following the track now and according to the map, we'll see zebras, not Marty unfortunately, and the rhinos on our way to the cheetahs. At first we couldn't spot the cheetahs but they did come and said hi to us eventually. Unfortunately we didn't see the cheetahs running but we really wanted to because as we all know cheetahs are the fastest land animals but for a short span of time but I would wonder why they were not running because they had nothing to run towards to. So here we go two cheetahs there 
Very good buddies hanging out together. They looked a bit chilled out. Beautiful creations again. A bit scary as they look you in the eye. But still beautiful. Next we are off to see my brother-in-law's best friends. <laughs> Actually they are more like brothers. The gorilla and the apes. You don't want to know what we just witnessed in the gorilla house. But yeah, watching a gorilla up close reminds me of King Kong. He's looking a bit grumpy at the moment, probably hungry. Don't know what they go through during the day. The apes seem to be having fun though, they are climbing up and swinging, just chilling, like us, like us, what we do during days off. So I would definitely recommend the Orana Wildlife Park as a must visit if you are in Christchurch. It's about 25 minutes drive from the city center but we came straight down from the airport so it only took us around 15 to 20 minutes. This zoo is a registered charity and is reliant on tourists and visitors for the support. Definitely a 10 out of 10 experience and it's even better if you have got kids or a wife who's kid at heart. <laughs> hey, no, 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 you can't go in there. They even have an amazing gift shop with really cute animal related gifts of all kinds. Thank you so much guys for watching Knives on Wheels and I'll see you next in Christchurch city centre.